Hello friends, in this video we are going to see practical application of partogram. We will see three different case scenarios in this video. Now, first of all, in the case one, concentrated here, you are on duty, you have joined your duty in labor room at 8 a.m. And with your joining of the duty, you see a primary patient is just admitted at 8 a.m. only. And you examine her, she is in labor and the cervical dilatation is 4 cm. Other everything was okay, she was receiving very good uterine contractions and uh, nothing problematic can be seen. You assessed her at 12 pm again after 4 hours. You see cervical dilatation is 10 cm. Now you have to put the partogram. Whenever you see a patient in 4 cm, first time, you have to start the partogram, okay? Let's see. This is the cervicogram and here it is a 8 am. At 4 hour it will be the 12 pm. So at 8 am, the cervical dilatation is 4 cm and at 12 pm, it is almost full, fully dilated. So the second one will be coming. Okay, so now the graph is like this. <coughs> As you can see that, that the partogram is on the left side of the alert line. It does not cross alert line. That means everything is okay the labor is progressing well as it should nothing to do against just wait and watch for delivery second case scenario is a second case scenario <clears throat> primary patient 8 am admission the initial assessment on admission was 4 cm cervical dilatation so the patient is in now active labor and you need to start partogram. Well, you have started the partogram 4 cm 8 am. But you if you reassessed at 12 pm after 4 hours, it was 6 cm. So just put here at 12 pm it was 6 cm. It comes here, yes, yes, here. So the graph becomes like this. <clears throat> so as you can see here, the graph is on the right side of the alert line. That means it is crossing the alert line. What that means? It means that the uterine contractions may be not so good. Whatever the reason, the pro pro uh, progress of the labor is not going very well. You need to just reassess again. You need to rule out any causes, any obvious causes of this prolongation of labor. You need to just be uh, watchful. Okay. If you find that your protection are not very good, you can add oxytocin. <clears throat> If you find any uh, mal rotation, mal position, then also you can act accordingly, but you need to find out the reason. Now, the third case scenario. In the third case scenario, you see the primary patient admitted at 8 am. Initial finding was 4 cm. 4 cm, 8 am. You have to assess after 4 hours every time. Okay, so after 4 hours you have assessed at 12 pm it is 6 cm. Okay, you bit here 26 cm. After 4 hours you again assessed at here. It will be 4 pm. And at 4 pm you see the cervical dilatation is 8 cm. 
so just put here 8 cm so now you can see the graph is like this what is meaning it is actually crossing the action line and whenever the pattograph crossing the action line that means that the labor is almost into the arrest you have to act immediately you might need cesarean section you should have one option in your mind you also monitor the fetal and mother for any rearrangement in their vitals you need this is now becomes a high risk pregnancy if it is not already then yes now you need to act so this is how we put the partogram thank you